Hey, hey yo, what's up everybody? Holmes here and we're back with some more Bloodborne on Caneville Run. Today we're going to be taking on the Shadows of Yarnum and I actually hit uh, online play instead of offline. So if you guys see our uh, bloodstains, that is why. And so for this fight, there's going to be three of them. You can see them right there already, the guy holding the torch. So we're going to try to parry the first guy as much as possible and then once he's near death, like around 20% HP, we'll rush him down with our Tenitris buffed up, so hopefully that'll work better. Keep an eye on the other ones because you don't want to get like trapped into in between all three of them. And you can kind of use these tombstones to kind of separate them, sort of. Alright, backed up into the corner. Let's just <laughs> get a little bit more room over here. Come on, sword guy. Don't bring the torch guy here. Oh, the candle guy. That's the torch guy. The torch guy is mostly, he'll mostly use just power mancy like that. So you have to watch out for the fire that come. Come on, bitch, come on. Go. One more parry and then we'll we'll rush him down. Can I Nope. Oh, couldn't capitalize. Oh, is he transforming? Uh oh. Okay, we got him. Let's heal up. The fireball doesn't reach this far, so. If this guy rushes you with a sword, get ready to parry him. If not, if he's being stubborn and keeps trying to breathe fire at you, just whack the shit out of him. That's uh, what I find works. Like that. Are you gonna keep doing that? Alright. Ouch. Pop a heal. Don't let him summon. Like, just keep the pressure on. Hit him once. If he hits you, don't matter. Oh shit. Okay, kinda matters. Keep the pressure on. You can also interrupt his attacks. Like if he tries to swing at you, if your weapon is faster, you can just him. Like so. Alright, that went way better than I expected it to this time. Uh, let's check out the room that he gave us. Blood rut. Blood rapture. Visceral attack restores. 200 HP, so pretty good. Um, where am I going? Bergen with. Come over this side, and there is um this bug thing right here. Be careful. Ah oh, shit! Don't kill me, please. <laughs> this will cause frenzy. You can see it, it's like it's building up right now. And you lose like a shit ton of blood. Like you just lose a lot of blood the moment frenzy hits, so be careful. Um there is an item to cure it. I don't even know if we have it. I don't think we picked it up yet. It's the sedatives. If you have that, it can cure frenzy. Or at least the build up. As long as the build up doesn't happen, you'll be fine. Like it won't do that it won't cause that blood explosion so that's what you want to worry about I think the more insights you have the more likely you're to get frenzied at least that's what I can remember let's go ahead and do a little bit of leveling 
Very well, let me... Very... Alright, so that's gonna be our setup. Sorry if I was quiet, uh, dumbass ice cream truck was passing by. So, yeah, uh, and I was just pretty much messing around and trying to figure out what room I want anyways. So, not much of a loss there. <laughs> we fortify our weapon. We need three uh, bloodstone chunks in order to buff our Ternitris a little bit more. Uh, we can buff our flame sprayer. So maybe. Uh, we'll see. Let's go ahead and get the Kane Hurst summon. And, yeah. Let's see what we can do from there. Uh, Sinister Bell, we can now do PvP. We can buy more Bloodstone Shards if we need to. So, okay, that's that. Uh, to get the Kane Hurst, well, we got the Kane Hurst summons from when we took on Josefka's clinic. Where the heck is it? Right here. So, what we need to do is go back to, um,. Not that. Hamwick China Lane. Let's go to um, the Witch's Lair area. So we're, where we fought the witch. Just come over here and we basically just gotta run down and get to the freaking big ass. Um, what is that thing called? <laughs> the tomb. The big ass tombstone thing. And once we get near it, a cutscene will play and it'll take us to Kanehurst. So that only happens if you have the summons. If you don't have the summons, nothing will happen. So just make sure you keep that in mind. And we're doing a straight run to it, so hopefully I don't get whacked by these executioner assholes. It's this thing right here. Look, it's Hogwarts. The horses freeze to death. <laughs> Anyways, 
reminds me of a, a lot of the painting area, like the painted world. Probably because it's all snowy here. And maybe that's Yarnum? Like, it would make sense, right? Because... I don't know. Because the bridge was cut off at one point. Like, from, um... The Hemwick channel lane. So maybe what we're looking at is Hemwick. Is on the other side of this. Like, over there. Because the bridge are cut off for some reason. But I guess the magical chariot still managed. And... That looks like Yarnum. Looks like... I don't know... But anyways, <laughs> we're in Kanehurst now. Kanehurst Castle. So... Yep. Oh, a warm welcome. Thank you, thank you. Light the lap, and we can take on Kanehurst in the next episode so thank you all so very much for watching hopefully this video has been entertaining or helpful or enjoyable and we all found at least one of those qualities to be in this video today stay tuned for the next one but until next time i'll catch y'all later ohms out